Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Now, as you can see, it's a very early morning start. But why? It's a very special thing. Because today we are going on a special drive. It's a drive with, as you can see in the background, the VW Club. It's the VW Club comprising of uh, Golf GTI, Golf R, the Beetle. So basically any VW that you have and you own in UAE, you can just join these guys and you can be a part of these amazing drives. This club is named as the VW's UAE. One of the owners of the club, Mr. Mahmoud. So he uh, messaged me and asked if I would be interested in you know joining up with them and i was like yeah why not of course i will be because look at that because there are some insane cars out there and some really nicely done cars which i want to show you all and i'm going to be showing you all soon i am going to be going in one of these cars one of the admins car and uh, we're going to be going all the way up to the Jebel J. So the drive was basically scheduled to start today at 5.30 and I, here I am and we are waiting and it's, it's about 5.15 and in 15 minutes we are going to be leaving. About 17 cars are participating in this drive so it should be epic fun. Let's get this started. extending up and we've all grouped together behind as you can see all of the cars all the 17 cars are pretty much grouped together check out the entire group of cars let me go through quickly that is the VW Beetle and some really insane modifications out here check this out everything is carbon fiber all of this the top vents we have the GTI, VW, another GTI, then this GTI, another one, there is another GTI with a red detail, GTIs, more GTIs, more GTs, there was this one really fun car that I want to show you all. So a special mention about this particular one, the one that I was saying which was a special one check this out how cool is that it's got a carbon fiber logo the side mirrors the spoiler and the logo behind as well what a baller now check this one out it's a VW Golf check check the wheels love love the color really nice what a winner what a winner we are going to be heading now up the hill and reaching the top of the jays and apparently this is the most fun part of the drive can't wait to start this one let's hit it <laughs>
there we are on top of the mountain and what a drive that was how epic the drive was and you can't imagine the cornering speeds that you can go out here the roads are so good I, i'm sure you should saw it in the video check out the view on top of this it's pretty insane it's it's pretty insane so i'm going to do a quick chat with mahmood as well we're going to do a short uh chat while on our way back down with Mohammed and I'm gonna try understand what are changes he has done to his car because it fell damn fast really fast of all of things that you can think of to make it carbon fiber this guy has done an intake which is carbon fiber <laughs> that is pretty epic so does it not stop to one car but another one as well this VW Beetle also has a carbon fiber intake <laughs> how awesome is that and so here we are with Mahmood he is one of the owners of the V uh, the VW UA yeah so this is the whole event being organized by these guys and up till now it has been absolutely fantastic but i was very curious you know to know the more details about your club because uh, when, when did it all start like you know the whole vw club yeah well it started in um july 2015 okay uh, it started with uh, five guys who got together they have volkswagen they were like let's make a group okay um and that's when vw was born it started off as uh, VW Dubai. Okay. But then we realized we were getting members from all yeah. over the UAE. Yeah. And we didn't want to just limit it to Dubai, so right. we made it VW UAE. Wow. Uh, and then um, from there we we started out with five members. Now we have over 220 members. Wow. Uh, as of today. So yeah, it's 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 going well. Um, we have full sponsorship. Sponsored events from Volkswagen Middle East. Okay. Uh, Duck Drive. Okay. Um, wow. That started in 2013. Uh, sorry, 2017. Okay. And uh, this uh, 2019 will be our third year for this event. Okay. And so far it has been amazing. Yeah, it looks so. The, this is the first drive of the season. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is the first drive, and then there are many more drives to come, yeah. and hopefully. I'll be covering them as well but interestingly I, I saw the your car as well and it has got a lot of you know mods and surprisingly some good elements that you've added to the car yeah so would you run me through like yeah, so basically um, well I bought my car back in September 2015 okay and uh, I got it from the agency so it was bone stock okay um, shortly after that I uh, modified the car visually only okay uh, I added uh, stripes on it mm -hmm. and um, later on um, I decided to change my stock wheels into aftermarket wheels so right now yeah. I have uh, new speed RSC 10s in mm -hmm. satin bronze yeah I saw that the color is yeah. very good uh, it was a risky choice for the color because I wasn't sure if it would look nice with my car my car is night blue <laughs> dark blue but it does, it does, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was worried that it wouldn't look nice, yeah. but I, I was like, you know what, let me try, let me step out of my comfort yep. zone, let me see what will happen. Um, I can always get it painted later if I yeah. don't like the color. But uh, the feedback I got on the rims were amazing. Uh, a lot of people liked it, I like it. Um, yeah. They look really good in pictures too. Yeah. So I'm happy with it. Um, after the wheels, I got uh, lowering springs. Uh, I have okay. H&R lowering springs. So it lowers the car a bit. Uh, I think by if I remember correctly, I'm not too sure to be honest. I don't okay. want to say something wrong. And, yeah. So but uh, yeah, okay. I lowered the car. Um, it's lowered so there's barely any. Uh, there is no space. There is no space. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's there. visible. Yeah. But that does improve your ride as well. It, it yeah. Improves the handling. The handling completely. And, yeah. So it, it looks nicer too. Uh, yeah. Also okay. visual. I mean, that was always like how the, the, the golf was supposed to look like, you know, yeah. when you see it. Yeah, I agree. When it's that. lowered. Yeah. Um, after that, I got the uh, JB4 Tune. Okay. Uh, it's a 
plug and play tune so mm -hmm. my warranty will stay intact okay uh, so basically this tune I can uh, control what map I want to use map okay. 1 being the least aggressive and map 6 being the most aggressive yeah. right and I can customize map 6 to what I want so yeah. if I want you okay. know peak boost at something you know 26 PSI I can uh, do that yeah. um, so you can do all of that on your own I can do that on my own with the help of the guys from yeah. uh, the Burger Motorsports uh, support team. Okay. They're very helpful. Uh, okay. You just have to log your car and they will email you back with what you put. Right. Um, but through that, you can also learn how they're adjusting the value so you yeah. can start doing it yourself. Yeah. Um, after the JB4, I got the Remus exhaust. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, quad tips. Well, my car is a GTI, stuff yes. comes with dual tips only. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to go for a nice, more aggressive look. Right. So I opted for the quad tips. So I got the quad tips, uh, carbon uh, carbon fiber tips, tips from yes. Remus. Yeah, I saw. And I also changed the diffuser to a uh, Rager diffuser to fit the two exhaust. Right. The stock one will fit two oh, tips. Fit, yeah. But it, the exhaust note is incredible. Yeah, I, I like. got the resonator delete as well. I had to remove the resonator because I didn't like how the car sounded too quiet. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't to my liking. So I wanted to make it a bit louder and more deeper. So I deleted the resonator. Yeah, it um, sounds pretty incredible. You. Like when you just, you know, yeah. push your foot down, hard down on the, on the yeah. throttle. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much oh I also got the uh, spoiler um, most of spoiler so I was tired of seeing um, uh, every single golf in the UAE with the same exact spoiler yeah. from uh, Oettinger mm. it was getting you know annoying and boring because everyone has the same thing no yeah. one is no one is trying out something new something new yeah is. so I went for the Oster spoiler um, fiberglass um, I had it shipped from the US right uh, I had it painted the same color as the car. Okay. So now it matches the color of the car, and it looks uh, it looks unique. But like, but do people don't drive because they are maybe afraid of you know changing a lot of things on the car? It's just very like ready to fit kind of a spoiler, yeah. Yeah, basically everything I've done are are basically stock like yeah, it pretty much fits on the the stock. Yeah, nothing is, nothing is permanent on the permanent, car. Permanent, yeah. So uh, you don't uh, avoid your warranty as it's well. It's not about that. Um, when it comes to, for me personally, when I when I modify the car visually, mm -hmm. I like to keep my options open in the future. So maybe I don't want to I want to change the spoiler in the future. Right. So I don't want something permanent on the car. Right. So it's right. way easier for me to remove it. Put something else instead. Yeah. Uh, same goes for let's say uh, the exhaust. I can you know change it whenever yeah. I want. Right. It's not permanent. Yeah. Uh, usually these stuff aren't permanent anyways. So yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah they are like, anyways changeable. And yeah, you but can, you know, the only thing upgrade. in terms of uh, body kit I have is just a spoiler for now. I okay. am planning to get a lip in the near future. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything. So those I've are your future mods for the car? For now, yes, a lip. A and, lip. And um, perhaps coilovers because I don't. The car is not low enough for me. I want it to be lower. Oh, more? You're yeah. gonna go more low? Yeah. Okay. Um, that would be interesting to see. Yeah. And you plan to add any carbon fiber bit on? The thing about carbon fiber, personally, to me, it's it, two reasons why I don't like putting carbon fiber on my car. One reason yeah. is um, it doesn't look nice with the blue. Yeah. Uh, especially if you have only bits and pieces that are carbon fiber, not mm -hmm. you know one big piece big or piece. Yeah. It doesn't you know visually look nice yeah. to me. Personally. It just breaks everything, like, yeah. you know, cuts the whole smooth flow of yeah. the interior. Uh, the second reason is um, carbon fiber isn't what you see in the market mm. um, from, you know, let's say websites you buy online that claim it's carbon fiber. Mm. It's not actually 100% carbon fiber. Yeah. Carbon fiber is very expensive material. So yeah. if you get, for example, a spoiler for 200 dirhams, they claim it's carbon fiber it's not really carbon yeah fiber. it's not the real one it may have one tiny layer of carbon fiber and the rest is just fiberglass or plastic mm -hmm. 
but it's not actually carbon fiber. Yeah. So yeah, the problem true. with that is uh, with the heat that we have here, mm -hmm. the color will turn to yellow. Yellow. And that will further ruin the look of the yeah, part. Yeah, that's true. So that's why I don't like getting carbon fiber parts on my no, car. It makes sense, yeah. But anyways, the, the, whatever the stock things are, it's pretty good. Like, you know, in the whole car. The, and anyways, what you want is is more for the performance bit instead of just the, you know? Well, I mean, it depends on the person. For me, yeah. I focus more on the visual than the performance. Yeah. Because I'm not going to go racing every day. Or, yeah. You know, I, I use this car every the day. The purpose is very, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is your daily driver? Yeah. Okay. So I don't want to, you know, yeah, that makes sense. put stress on the car that's not needed when I'm not yeah. using it. Like, for racing or I'm just driving normally. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So I focus more on visual aspects of the car. Right. And maybe in the future, if I get a second car, I can, you know, make this, turn this into a project car. Project car. Go big on it. Yeah. So, so what, what are the futures for, you know, the, the group itself? Like, what, for the for the year, well, maybe? I mean, we've been trying to get a sponsorship uh, from companies or from garages. Okay. Uh, we're still looking. We're still trying to find something. Okay. Um, well, so far, our plans were achieved. Our goals were achieved. Okay. Uh, specifically for Dub Drive. Right. Uh, Dub Drive was started by V Dubs and the Volkswagen Saudi Club in uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Uh, we basically got together and contacted Volkswagen Middle East and told them, hey, listen, we want to make a big event. Right. Uh, they agreed. We set up the first meeting in 2017. Mm -hmm. I think two or three months after that, the event was actually live. Wow. So, That's yeah. pretty uh, amazing. That event, so let me tell you a bit more about that event. Yeah. Uh, that event's main goal is to get all the clubs from the entire GCC region, okay. uh, Volkswagen clubs, and bring them to one city okay. and have a festival kind of event with track days and drags and road ah, racing. Okay. So last, the first year we did this, we had 150 cars. Okay. Uh, that was in 2017. 2018, okay. we had uh, nearly 300 cars. So oh, that's double, so double the double uh, the original amount. And in 2019, which is in two or three months from now, we are aiming for again 300 cars. Okay. Um, but wow. it's going to be a two-day event two day. instead of one. So, so more we, events and split up into. We're splitting it up because we want to focus on uh, the two main parts of the event. So we don't want everything crammed in one day. Right, so yeah. So the first day will be a festival. So you come, park your car, enjoy the festival. Festive. Competition, prizes, uh, you know, photo shoots. Photo shoots. Uh, we have a parade around the... Uh, so people get to see the cars as well. Yeah. Kind people, of it's open to the public. So yeah, auto come, show. Kind it's of. free. You don't have to pay anything. You just come oh, wow. shoot. I remember the first year we had the idea of having a parade around Dubai. Okay. Uh, we got that with the help of uh, Dubai Police Escorts. Okay. Yeah. So what they would do is they would block all the traffic Tra and let us through. So we imagine 150 Volkswagen cars just going through the city. Wow, that's we, special treat. Yeah. Um, last year we did the same thing and this year it's the first time we're doing it in Abu Dhabi. Okay. So we will have uh, Abu Dhabi police with us and they have a Volkswagen called GTI cop cars. Okay. So that will be interesting to see. You know, yeah. It's going to be a full Volkswagen event. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because it's already it's up to 300 cars by now. Yeah. So, so yeah. But then there are not additional cars coming up on board. What do you mean by that? Like, like, like more than 300 if you can? Well, the thing is, we don't want to. We're not aiming for quantity, we're aiming for quality. Okay. Uh, sure, we can accommodate more than 300 cars, but we don't want, um, you know, to, to burden. The thing is, there's track, there's dry, drag racing, there's roll racing, mm -hmm. there's a festival. We right. don't want so many cars showing up and showing they up. will be like, oh, there's too many cars, we can get yeah. to enjoy, uh, you know. And now it's become all just too yeah. much. So. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of guys would want to be interested, like you know, interested in getting on board in this. Yeah. Because it's it's a very huge event, and and yeah. since it's an annual one, so 
it, it does make sense like you know you just join along with everyone yeah. and it's anyways like a like a group where you know you just catch up with you know like how it was today where yeah. you know you just discuss the various mods that people do yeah. and there's some new ideas it's uh, the slogan of the event is uh, the unity of Volkswagen clubs and the GCC mm-hmm. so this entire idea started with uh, Wurtesi mm-hmm. uh, Wurtesi is a small town in Austria. Okay. It's named after the lake Wurtesi, and mm-hmm. uh, basically, since the 1970s, I believe, mm-hmm. uh, two guys or three guys, I'm not sure, came together. They have Volkswagen. They set up an area in Wurtesi. They're like, okay, this we will come here every year at the same time okay. and have an event. Uh-huh. 36 to 37 years later, uh, they get visitors from all over the world, from oh, all wow. over Europe, uh, not only Volkswagen cars, every single model you can make and model you can think of, they show up. Oh. Uh, it became sponsored by Volkswagen AG, which is Volkswagen uh, Germany. Oh.